Okay, so last year you guys got notes about quotations and cita citations and integrating those things. And I just want to revisit those things with you and remind you of some APA citation things as well. But our primary goal is integration of quotes so that things sound a little more smooth than well, the dreaded standalone quote. So, when introducing a quote, if you are you know, integrating it smoothly within one of your own sentences, then there is no punctuation required, as in this example. where it just reads as a continuation of your lead-in. There's no comma or anything there because if you were writing this grammatically, as your own sentence, you know, just ignore the quotation marks, there would be no comma there, there'd be no period, there'd be no colon, it would just go directly into the goods which he so laboriously acquired. And likewise, at the end of the quote, it just goes on into you speaking, and so there's no punctuation needed there as well. You punctuate it where there needs to be punctuation. Friendly reminder that for APA citations, it's author's last name, year, P period, and then 21 for your you know, <coughs> normal sources. Of course, you know the Hamlet one is a little different, and that's why you've got that on your sheet. If you do happen to use a lead-in word, Kind of a, a dialogue marker almost. Things like said, asked, stated. In those cases, you do use a comma. So you punctuate it like it's a dialogue. Except, and this is kind of a weird difference. Normally, dialogue, you would capitalize the first word in a quotation, but you don't do that when you're writing a research paper, basically. If you're quoting a fact in a paper, then you lowercase it. Even if it's uppercase in the thing? Even if it's uppercase in the text. Unless it's a, like a proper noun. Unless it's a proper noun or other thing that requires capitalization. And again, this goes for things besides said, you know, word forms like says or saying, other versions of it like asked or told or stated. Those all get commas after. If you introduce a quote in what's called question and answer format, you use a colon. And this is where you basically have a complete thought in the earlier part. And you could end it right there. You could end it right after century. But your reader is going to be asking, well, what did he say? And that's what the colon is there for. It, kind of, it stands in as a, what did he say, marker. Or, what do you mean? And then you answer it with your quotation. But that only works if what comes before the colon is a complete sentence. And then again, we don't capitalize what comes after, unless it's proper now. So the thing you really need to know and take to heart is that you should never have a standalone
quote, a sentence that begins with a quotation mark and ends with quotation mark citation. You should always have some kind of lead in, even if it's something as basic as a transition like, for example, as stated in the text, something that gives a little lead in. Should I go back? Please. If you are guilty of this, you know, I, will, I will not make a circle on your paper. That would be weird. I will write the dreaded S-A-Q for standalone quote. You don't want SAQs. So if you had SAQ written on your book reports a lot last year, then you might have a tendency to do it this year. Don't do that. Any sentence in your paper that starts with a quotation mark you need to fix and find a way to integrate. So some notes about capitalization. Never capitalize the start of a quote unless it is a proper noun that begins it. Hamlet, come here! Should be capitalized because it starts with a proper noun, H. You might ask, you know, what if it starts a sentence? Well, don't do that, ever. Don't start a sentence with a quote. So things about punctuation. The period always goes at the end of the sentence after your citation. So if you're, if you're providing a quote, then it should be quotation, citation, punctuation. No period there. You also don't, if you have, say, a, oops, if you had a line that you're quoting that ends with a comma, you don't include the comma. If it ends with a dash or a hyphen, you also don't include the dash or the hyphen. The only punctuation that you ever need to worry about including is a question mark or an exclamation point. And they say this because question marks and exclamation points can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. And so, since it's required for meaning, you keep them. And you still put a period at the end. Because technically, this is not a complete thought or sentence without the citation, and so you punctuate after the citation. And ignoring, you know, this period. You never have two periods in the same sentence. Some of you smart Alex are probably thinking, well, what about ellipses? Those are a bunch of periods. No, they're not. They're ellipses. Ellipses are just made up of three dots. Now, when it comes to ellipses, you do not need to use 
ellipses at the start or the end of a quote. These ellipses are not necessary. Anytime you quote something, it is implied that there's stuff at the beginning that you left off. Unless you were quoting the entire book. It's implied that you cut something out. Same thing with the end. We know that you probably left off some stuff that happened afterwards. So you don't need ellipses at the end either. The only place you use ellipses is within a quote. So this is actually the way you cite it. No ellipses necessary. You can use brackets in your quotations to help clarify things. Vague pronouns or references that aren't clear based on what's being said in the quote. As long as you don't alter the meaning of the quote. So, in this he states, so he, who's he? Brackets used to clarify, St. Godric. Exactly. You don't even need the he there. Once, once you put brackets in, you can replace the unclear pronoun, you can replace the unclear reference, and all will be right in the world. And that's it. This is for next semester when you've forgotten all of that. Uh, any questions about, quote, integration, ellipses, brackets, things of that nature, before I move on to other things? You promise me there will be no SAQs in your papers? <laughs>